All right, so this is something a little bit different. You know, usually I'm doing my videos in my studio and I'm showing you kind of from an authoritative way, like what we're gonna, what I'm gonna teach you and all this and that. Um, the fact is I wanted to do something a little bit different today, mainly because my head is in a little bit of a different spot. I'm not in the mood to just be in the studio. Um, so to cut right to the chase, what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is like, I'm kind of running ragged right now. A lot of stress in my life, a lot of things going on, good and bad, but you know, it is what it is. The point is, is that where I'm at right now, I don't have the ability to go and get something like really, really healthy. I don't, normally I'll run to Trader Joe's or I'll go to Whole Foods and I'll get my keto snacks there. And I realized that since I'm gonna to go to and I don't know if you got grocery stores where you're at, but it's not exactly the healthiest grocery store. Like they're not notorious for having health foods. So it's a great example of what you can do in a situation where you're just in a pinch. And there's been countless times where like I've been on road trips with my wife or anything like that. And I'm just like, okay, well we gotta sell for something. We gotta go to the grocery store. We gotta maintain keto. We gotta have the least sort of carbon footprint on our body as possible. But we're also understanding that we're not gonna be getting perfect, perfect food, but we're not gonna put garbage in our bodies either. So, you know, you have to live life within the means of what is going on in your life. You know, sometimes you're gonna be stressed out, sometimes you're not, sometimes you're gonna you know, have to make choices on a quick whim that you otherwise wouldn't be able to or wouldn't have to. And by recognizing that, it just, it brings your blood pressure down in the whole situation. I mean, you're, I have a lot of peace knowing that professional athletes are always sort of duct taped together. Here's what I mean by that. Like, I used to try to get myself to a position physically and mentally where I was just perfect and this is exactly where I want to be and then I would just freeze time and I want to keep it like that. So hypothetically speaking, I used to want to, I want to get my body right where I want it. I want to get my physical performance right where I want it. I want to get my mental state right where I want it. I want to get my family right where I want it and then I want to cement it in there. I want to freeze just like that. I want to have it be like that forever. Uh, and then everything's going to be good. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have everything set. And I can guarantee you that at some point in your life, you've probably had a mindset like that. And it's an okay mindset to have because it strives you for a goal. But the fact is, is it makes it really, really difficult to ever accept change or chaos in your life because it throws a wrench in your goal, right? So in working with a lot of professional athletes and understanding how literally just top level NFL guys, NBA guys, MLB guys all train and work and even some of the military guys I've worked with, there always is a degree of sort of duct tape in their life. And what I mean by that is they always accept that they're going to have to have, if they're performing at a high level, things that allow them to maintain that level. And whether that's food that's more expensive, whether that's supplements here and there, there's always a little bit of a dependency. So I've realized in time that there's some comfort that comes with dependency on some things. The discomfort or the, the level of uncomfortableness, if that's a word, that comes with dependency is when you think that you've got it all and that you'll never have to be dependent on something. Codependency is okay as long as you accept codependency and know that you have the attributes to sub that codependency out or whatever you are codependent on for something else. So what I'm saying is when you're stressed out, you might need help from a supplement more than you ordinarily would. Or when you're stressed out, you might need a different kind of food to aid in that. Or you might need physical therapy if you're in pain. It's okay to always have these little substitutions and these little um, codependencies that get you through life because you're never going to be able to be perfect and freeze it there. Um, the way that one of my business partners had put it was a great, was, was just great because I explained this to him and he was like, well, Tom, it's basically what you're referring to is, he's like, if you're driving a Formula One race car, you're going to have to be rebuilding the engine a heck of a lot more than if you're driving a Prius just around town, right? You know, so the second that you know you're under stress and you're, you're running at a high level, you're going to have to just have a lot of maintenance. You're going to have to rebuild stuff and it's going to cost money. So you have to make a decision that are you willing to allocate funds from another area of your life to operate at this high level. Now, the caveat to that being you don't always have to live an expensive, lavish lifestyle to make things the way that you want them. So my point in all of this is that life is a little crazy for me right now and I want to show you guys that I'm human and I want to show you how I can remain human while still keeping on point with keto. So we're going to pull up to the grocery store here and I'm going to show you live action, like what I'm going to go through, what I'm going to search for, what I'm going to try to find, what I won't get, what I will get. So let's just hop on in the grocery store in a second and we'll go from there. 
I would never say that like was my top choice, but sometimes it's just all that you've got available. So like I said before, normally, you know, Trader Joe's kind of my go-to, Whole Foods can be my go-to, um, all depends on the situation, but uh, a lot of you that are watching this, you probably don't have Trader Joe's close by, or you don't necessarily have a Whole Foods unless you're in a major metropolitan area. So let's go see what this place has got. I doubt it's got anything that I'd want to really have, but we'll make it happen. Cool. All right, and hopefully, the camera crew doesn't get kicked out of, out, get this kicked out of the store. So it's lunchtime. So, I mean, ideally I would like to get some protein, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't, so that's the thing. It's like, you don't always want to be freaking out about what kind of protein you're going to get or anything like that. You should be focused more on at least getting your fats in. That's going to be your fuel. That's really what you're after. And again, you can't be perfect all the time. So the whole video, this whole video is all about like what's going to happen when you're not perfect. So let's see, um, Okay, you know the old thing about how you should always be like riding the rim of the grocery store, that all the crap is like in the center aisles? Okay, that's kind of what it comes down to. Actually, I see, let's check this out. Ah, actually this might work out perfect. Okay, actually, <laughs> so sardines. These are a big thing for me. So they're gross to some people, but the fact is when you're on keto, they actually work out really well. So this actually might be perfect. So I didn't think I was gonna even be able to get some protein in, I might be able to do that. Um, tuna, for obvious reasons, it's pretty low quality, obviously. So as you go further up the food chain, like with um, albacore tuna, like bigger tuna like that, higher levels of mercury. You always want to work as close down to the bottom of the food chain as possible. Like closer down to the bottom of the food chain, more nutrient value. So like the smaller fish, eat the phytoplankton, things like that, okay, algae, stuff like that. You're going to have more nutrient value. You're also going to have what's called docosahexaenoic acid, so DHA, which converts and actually ferments into EPA, eicosapentaenoic acids. That's another kind. Um, okay, so here's where it gets interesting though. When we look at sardines, um, we got sardines in olive oil, sardines in, in oil. This is what you have to be careful of. So olive oil is one thing. If it says in oil, there's a good chance. What do we got? Soybean oil. Yep. So if you are going to get it in oil, make sure you're very careful of that. Um, you want to get one where you can control the fats. So, wow, they only have these in giant ones. I might have to pass, but if it's in tomato sauce or if it's in water, that's better because the fat that you're getting from it is directly from the fish, not from the oil. You see, I always say like, try to control the fats that you're getting. We have a plethora of different kinds of fats coming in here and I can guarantee you that the olive oil that this is sitting in is probably low quality olive oil and it's probably gonna end up being oxidized already. So you're better off to not get things in oil even though you're on keto and you're trying to up your fats. So um, I'm probably gonna pass on this because this is real live action and I don't need a giant thing of sardines and I don't know what I would do with them in my truck. So if they had a smaller one, I'd probably be all over it. Um, so I'm probably just going to pass on those altogether. But at least now you know. Unless something else here. This just seems rowdy. Tuna creations with tapatio. I guess I guess put, put tapatio on tuna before. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay. Well, onward and upward. Anything else? Oh, okay. This stuff, guys, be careful of this stuff. You see this in, um, in Costco a lot, like not necessarily this brand, but like this chicken breast, it's so full of fillers, like, um, yeah, sodium phosphates, chicken flavoring. Well, that's cool. I mean, it's like chicken, but just the flavor. So yeah, anyway, just be careful of that stuff. In fact, when you look at something like sardines, you're preserving the nutrient value in the can. When you're looking at things like chicken, you're just trying to extend the life of it. It's like you're just reaching for something, so don't even bother. Um, I don't know. This area is just dangerous. Uh, actually, you know what? People, people ask about these kind of things. I just walk by some people ask about these all the time. Um, yeah, so like people talk about like uh, sugar-free, sh okay, so see that's like maltitol right there? So maltitol is going to give you an absolutely crazy upset stomach. So powerful sugar alcohol drawing all the water into your colon. So basically you're gonna end up getting super, super bloated. So just cause it's sugar-free or no sugar added doesn't mean that it's okay on keto. Plus still 19 grams of carbs. Like that's, that's not what we really want, right? Um, so, so far I'm like zero for two. Um, but I think I see something up there. Yeah, this stuff's cool, man. You guys are gonna like this. Okay. Uh, oh, sweet. Okay. So this is a total win. This is something that I didn't expect. Um, 
Lobnet is a really interesting kind of, I'm not a huge fan of dairy, but kefir cheese is something interesting. So I did a video on Bulgarian yogurt before. I would say this is a close second. So here's what's cool about this is it's basically uh, like kefir, which is super, super high probiotic, which we've talked about in other videos too. Like kefir is, um, if you were to take yogurt and put it into a more powerful condensed form, that's basically what you have here. So we have 0.5 grams of carbs, like super low carb. Okay, three grams of fat. This is light lab though. Do they have a regular, oh sweet. They have original, so this means it's higher fat content. Yes, so perfect, look at this. One gram of carb, okay, six grams of fat. Very little protein, but I'm okay with that. I'm not worried about it. This is, we're just not going for broke here. We're just going for something simple. So I'm definitely gonna get some of this lab because this stuff is perfect. Um, well, it's cool that they're actually doing this good and well thing. That makes it a lot better. Makes it a little bit easier. It's kind of cheating. Um, Daya, I try to stay away from, by the way. Daya is usually heavy soy. Tapioca, yeah, look at like expeller press canola and or non-GMO expeller press sap, you know, and or, like it might be, could be kind of, sort of, like, you know, like, okay, like, whatever. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go down to a different aisle to see if they have a better selection of those. Um, if you're not doing keto, then corn tortillas are always a good, easy fix. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything there. Pickles. Oh, you know what? I think I saw, actually, Aha, okay. Big issue here. They don't have a small thing of it. And I, I know you're probably hearing the music and stuff, but um, they do have this stuff. I will say guys, I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter because peanuts are a legume. They're not technically a nut. They don't have nearly the health benefits that you would get like out of almond butter or macadamia nut butter. But I, like I said, I'm just in a jam. So um, what I do want to point out is like Skippy Naturals. They're naturals. Oh, actually that's a you know, Skippy Natural. Okay, this is sketchy stuff because it's still got a bunch of palm oil. It's still got a bunch of sugar. It's just not worth it. It's, if you're gonna go for it, get for the one that you have to stir up. It might make a little bit of a mess, but it's worth it. And for $3, I'm just gonna roll with it because this will help me out with dinner too. And it's just at least be able to have what I need. Um, so at least I'm getting a couple little snacks. Now I still wanna find some kind of protein source. So I need to figure something out there. And so, <laughs> so, um, so let's go to the meat section really quick and see if I can get something with protein. And if push comes to shove, I'll just forego the protein altogether. Let's go down here. Ooh, oh, this is my jam. You've seen me talk about this in other videos. Okay, this is like one of my all-time hacks. Okay, and I'm surprised I haven't put this in another video, but uh, when you get unsweetened baking chocolate, it has no sugar in it, nothing in it. It's bitter as heck, right? Like, it's not that good. But the effects that you get from this, from like what are called endocannabinoids, you actually get like a euphoric feeling. It's not, um, not like a high or anything like that, but the euphoric feeling you get when you eat chocolate comes from the endocannabinoids. So they're actually acting upon receptors in your body like that. Um, literally the only ingredient in this is chocolate. Like there's no sugar, there's nothing added to it. So it's bitter. But what I'm gonna do is take a couple pieces of that, a little bit of this almond butter, and then mix it in with this. And then- 305, please. Uh, anyway, mix that all together, make a little paste out of it. Honestly, that's fine. So if I don't even have protein here, I'm gonna be totally good to go. Hey guys, yep. I'm gonna have to stop the videotaping. It's gonna have to stop. What's up? We can't, you guys can't be videotaping this morning. Really? Yeah. You guys are gonna get a heck of a lot of promotion. <laughs> I apologize, dude, because unless you get it approved through our corporate office, then yes, we can absolutely go ahead and videotape. But tell Ben that I can't have you guys videotaping. Yeah, it's for personal use, it's not for corporate, so, or not for commercial. I apologize about it. Okay, no worries. I'll try to find a way to be as, you know. Okay, as yeah. As okay, that's right. cool. Well, you guys heard it. So I guess I'll just go ahead and buy this and get out. Interesting what you got here. So, point is, this is what happens. Let's buy this. Cool, the title of this video is going to be I Get Kicked Out of <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to title it. I got kicked out of for eating keto. <laughs> yeah, they started call it flocking over to it us. Was, uh, it was the lady. Yeah. She she went to go put something in the 
back. And then she saw him with the camera, yeah. and then she went straight to the back. Yeah. Well, it kicked out of I guess they're anti-keto, but you know, Trader Joe's wouldn't have cared. Trader Joe's would have been like, hey, promote us. But the point is, this is life. And I now have some labne, which is actually really cool. And I now know that at least, because I've got one near my house too, at least I can get labne there because I actually should probably have done a video on this in the first place because the probiotic effect of this stuff is actually great. So I don't know if I'm gonna even have the peanut butter. I don't know if I need to. There's enough fat in this, like I'm fine. Um, but if you got one cool hack out of this video, it's using this uh, baking chocolate because this is, this is gonna change your life. So melt it down, add some stevia to it. Uh, that gives you a perfect little snack that you can eat. And again, like there's nothing added to this. There's no erythritol, there's no stevia right now. It's just straight up chocolate. Um, this peanut butter, you know, at the very least, Amber digs this stuff. So when I get home later, um, when I'm not on the road, I can give her this. You know, you're always gonna be in a situation where life is throwing you curveballs. You're either getting kicked out of grocery stores or you're getting in trouble for something. But the fact is, every once in a while, you just have to duct tape your life together. And today, I'm not using duct tape. Today, I'm sticking my life together with some peanut butter. So even though it's been a different video and it may not be as full of science as you're normally used to, I don't know, something different. So if you like these style of videos, if you like the little bit of a kind of a vlog style grocery store hit, let me know do more of them. It's kind of fun to just have the camera crew along with me and doing something different. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go enjoy some lobna.